Hello and welcome back to Calico Village. So today I'm going to be showing you three tips for collecting. This is probably for the newer collector, geared towards, but I don't know. I hope it's helpful to everyone. Okay, so tip number one. Oh wait, that's two fingers. <laughs> okay, so tip number one is scan in all your stickers and all of your paper parts. That way, if I ever lose one, like one of these, I can just print another one out. And even if I decided, say, I wanted two of the tram guides, I could just print another one out. Okay, I'm up in my attic with another tip. Keep the boxes. So the boxes have tons of helpful information. I don't know if I have lighting enough to show, but you've got the biographies. You've got, like, pictures for ideas for how to set stuff up. Yeah, it's just a really helpful resource to keep them. And if, should you ever decide to sell your sets, they will go for more if they are in box. And if you don't have space to keep them all, you can always flatten them, like this pile. Yeah, I know, the filming here isn't great. It's just I don't have better lighting up here. Okay, so my last tip, tip number three, is to keep a spreadsheet of all the items you collect. So, on my spreadsheet, I have the names of the critters. If there's anything, I have the owner of the critter, because it's both me and my brother collecting. I have the reference number of critters. I have a link to an external site that's not mine, so that I can look up other information about the set. Mainly, like, what pieces it has, and I have its name. Yes, collecting isn't an exact science, but I hope you still found this video very helpful. I hope that this is the closest thing I could do to a video on how to collect, I guess. Anyway, thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my channel. Bye!